It's election day. Yeah, the apostrophe. And for Jersey City, it means a decision on the future of short-term rentals. Back in June, the Jersey City Council approved a measure that would have started implementing changes to the short-term rental regulations that were first put in place back in 2015. A yes vote would approve these new rules, while a no vote would repeal the ordinance. Jersey City Mayor Stephen Fulop, who's been outspoken about voting yes, says today's decision carries big weight. The, the bottom line is it's uh, the first time in the country that there is going to be a conversation around what voters feel about short-term rentals. And, um, you know, we believe that regulation is important and it's not a ban. This is going to allow owners to uh, responsibly rent their place, but at the same time, um, it's going to protect neighborhoods. If a yes vote prevails, the ordinance would go into effect in January of 2020. Some of the new regulations would include prohibiting short-term rentals in buildings with more than four units when the owner is absent and preventing renters from sharing their homes. Christian Gavillian Airbnbs his property. He says today's decision will play a huge factor in his life. I'm voting no today because uh, I'm unsure of how greatly it will impact me and my hosting peers. Um, I do believe we should have regulation, I just don't think this set is the one. Over on the other side of town, Linda Diaz-Posito was casting her vote in favor of stricter regulations. If I had voted no, you would have more buildings being bought up to be turned into, into hotels, illegal hotels and areas not zoned for them. And should I have to look, I would have a hard time, even harder time finding affordable housing than I already have. Liz DeVolt Fusco is a spokesperson for Airbnb. She says a solution that benefits everyone is possible. We want the people of Jersey City to vote no against the ban. But the very next day, our community has said they want to sit down with the city, they want to sit down with the mayor and find a real regulatory path forward for home sharing. Polling stations throughout Jersey City will remain open until 8 p.m. tonight. Results are set to come out sometime after 8 p.m. Of course, we'll have the very latest information over on our website. That's NewJerseyNewsNetwork.com. Reporting in Jersey City, Jennifer Marin, New Jersey News Network.